Lichens. Not the old jag fungus that grows on trees? Lycanthropes. Werewolves? Oh, they exist. Uh, no, they don't. Well, only during a full moon. Uh, the moon's always full. Uh, it's always there, so that whole legend relies on how much of it is lit by the sun. It's based on gravitational pull, like the ocean. Tides. <laughs> Look at, listen to yourselves. Maybe it's a monthly thing, you know, like a menstrual cycle. A werewolfism would explain their habitual crabbiness. Zombies actually age, or are they frozen in time like us? I don't know. Something to consider? I guess I've never considered the aging process of virus carriers we know nothing about. Been a little busy eliminating whatever potential lifespan they do have. Well, yeah. But, I mean, rotting flesh is rotting flesh. It's been a fall of the bone at some point. Are you implying there's some kind of zombie shelf life? I figure at a certain point they just cease to function. You know, I, I've seen molded peaches that aren't peaches. They just turn some sort of stationary mush. You've taken the time to watch peaches rot. Burning days in the life of eternity. I think it's normal to obsess about food you can't digest. Don't you have hobbies? Reading. Touche. <sighs> I just wonder what would happen if we actually waited out this wave. I mean, the human body doesn't take that long to rot. We could wait a week and just spray them down with a hose and watch the flesh fly. But you have to decapitate them. They can't move if we flush the entire muscular system out of the equation. I'm intrigued. Incoming. You do realize that in order to test your theory, You'd have to sequester a few zombies and make sure they remained untouched and probably unfed for about a week. So many of them limping around. I think it'd be hard to separate a control group from the rest of the pack. But there are a lot of variables to consider. Such as? Variations in their age before they were zombified. How physically fit they were in their former life. How recently they were deceased. All factors that would affect how easily the muscle clings to the bone. Exactly. We're talking a large, diverse mix of newly formed zombies to quarantine. Hurting undead lab rats like cattle? Seems like a lot of work. And to spray them down, you're also assuming that there's been no change in water pressure from when the treatment plans were attacked. It's not worth the effort. But worth the conversation? It's better than watching peaches rot. Do you think we can kill the virus if we spray them with disinfectant? Mm -hmm. 